Who is ringing the doorbell during the quarantine? Jude, are you expecting company? No. Nora, are you expecting company? Uh, no. Heather, are you expecting anybody? No! Miranda, are you expecting anyone? No, I'm on a call. Leave me alone. And then I got the dogs barking. I guess I better go see who it is. Who is out here in this quarantine? They know they better be home. Oh my little, oh lord. Not the In this episode, we discuss the differences between Jehovah's Witness and a Christian. The Jehovah's Witness movement was started in 1870 by a man named Charles Taze Russell. Well, Charlie began to dispute the essential doctrines of the Christian faith and thus started out his venture with this new organization. That organization is known as the Watch Tower. But Charlie started to uh, put out some materials or magazines called Zion's Watch Tower, which is now known as the Watchtower. And these materials that he put out were considered authoritative. Mind you, they have made many a false prophecies that in 1914, 1918, 1925, and 1975, that there would either be a resurrection of the ancient prophets or Armageddon would come on one of those years. Well, it's 2020. The only thing close to Armageddon that we will ever see is probably the coronavirus. Later on, they also published the New World Translation, which is a heretical translation of the Bible. So, false prophecies, they equal, come on, what do they equal? You guessed it right, false prophets. So what do they call themselves, Jehovah's Witness? Well, they get that out of Isaiah 43.10, which says, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord. Some translations have Jehovah, but the actual translation is actually Yahweh. How many more times can I say actually? In fact, the Bible has several names for God, but Jesus calls him Father, and so do the apostles. So here's a pressing question. Are Jehovah's Witnesses Christians? Short answer, no. The determination is that if you get God wrong, Mm, you're probably not a Christian. So let's take a look at their beliefs. Number one, they do not believe that Jesus is God. In their New World Translation, they change words to reflect their view. For example, John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. They include the Word was a God. They also believe that Jesus was created by Jehovah as Michael the Archangel. No, Mike. That's heresy. If you were to ask a Jehovah's Witness, is Jesus even equal to God? They would probably say no. However, their own material in the New World Translation would suggest otherwise. In the New World Translation, their heretical translation, it actually says, John 5, 18, this is why the Jews began seeking all the more to kill him. Because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was also calling God his own father, making himself, what's that word? Equal to God. And what's even more hilarious is they forgot to change John 10, 31. In their translation, Jesus says that I and the father are one. The J-dubs also believe that Jesus was not physically resurrected. His spirit was just roaming around eating fish. Of course, I've never seen a ghost, but I don't think ghosts eat fish. Now, they also believe that the Holy Spirit is not God, but he's just a force. They also believe that salvation comes by faith in Jesus. Huh? That's good. However, they include more. You have to be a part of their cult, I mean, their organization, and you have to be obedient. But y'all know what the Bible says. Salvation is from grace alone, by faith alone, through Jesus Christ alone. So as you see, this heresy goes against the essentials of Christianity. And while they are not Christians, I applaud their diligence. In fact, every Jehovah's Witness that I've ever talked to has always been very nice. Except for that one time, um, 
that as I was talking, they were literally walking away. I was like, I'm not done, but I'm not better either. Maybe just a little bit. So here's what I would say to the Christian. When they come knocking, or when you see them out in the street corner, and you will, here are three very important things to remember. Know your Bible, be kind, and love them with truth. I will also post some helpful tips in the description below. And you can also help me by pressing the subscribe button, the like, and notification bell. Also, why don't you share this? You don't have to go knocking on somebody's door, but you can just virtually share it. Because the whole quarantine thing, everybody up in the house.